Welcome back. Back to impeachment. Not the Lone Star State variety, but rather the kind we are more accustomed to in our nation's capital. I am directing our House committee to open a formal impeachment inquiry into President Joe Biden. Republican House Speaker Kevin McCarthy announcing impeachment proceedings against our Democratic President Joe Biden, who is suspected of reaping illicit profits via his influence peddling son, Hunter. Never mind that we are just 13 months and change from an election, and never mind this impeachment effort has less than zero chance of being sustained in the Senate. The real questions are these. Should the House be working on improving the lives of Americans, or should they be investing their time in the same game of gotcha they were so furious about when it was aimed at former President Trump? I should note, Hunter was reindicted this week on three felony gun charges, and the White House is saying the presidential son will not be pardoned if convicted. A lot there, Gary Polland. Yeah, uh, I think that the impeachment inquiry is more about uh, the state of the Republican caucus in the House, the fact that the Republican majority, I think maybe down to two votes, because we, we had retirements, we had, had special elections, and uh, there's a strong conservative faction that's been on McCarthy since the beginning. I, I personally think that under the, with, with a two-vote margin, I think he's doing a good job. It's tough. And uh, the Democrats, of course, control the Senate. So a little bit of a distraction. I know that those who have said the inquiry should go forward will give us more tools to look at Biden. But there's no question in my mind that the Biden family has sold influence and basically sold our foreign policy, which is more outrageous than anything they accuse Trump of. All right, Bill King, I can't deny you a chance to opine on dysfunction junction at Congress. <laughs> Well, I think this is a sop to the Freedom Caucus to kind of get them off his back and see if he can get back to more important things. But look, this is just so endemic of the broken two-party system that we have. All they care about is fighting with each other. Neither one of them give a damn about the American people. It's about them holding on to power. It's about oh, them right. satisfying their base, which is the folks that show up in the primary votes. That's all they care about. They do not care about solving immigration, inflation, immigrant, any of these big problems we have. All right, Charles Blaine, I mean, you know, we've all volunteered to make you the linchpin of a new pragmatic party, <laughs> you know, because, you know, you, you are the type of person who are, who's looking for solutions. It doesn't look like either party's looking for solutions. They're looking to perpetuate their own power. Well, of course, yes, because once they get there, that's all they worry about, it's power. And it's interesting, because <laughs> you look at the Capitol and you look at the legislature, it's, uh, once they get there, it's just worried about being a member and staying a member, and you got to stay in the club. Um, but to, to this Hunter Biden stuff, it is really interesting, because did he do wrong? Yes. Should he get in trouble? Yes. But of all the charges that could be brought against him, this is it, this seems like some, one of the most unserious ones. I mean, not the tax evasion charges, not the failing to register as a foreign agent, the one charge that does not involve his father. And and, uh, mind you, the tax evasion charge has a six-year statute of limitations, and that's starting to run out mm -hmm. as well. So we're focused on this gun charge while everything else just sits over here. Hunter Biden, you know, Biden's son, is everything that the left wanted Trump's kids to be, and they failed to call him out for it. Mm -hmm. All right. As a highly respected mediator, Joe Jaworski, how would you mediate uh, the, the factions in Congress? Oh, my goodness. You know, I wonder if it's capable of being mediated, but certainly there are, you know, better angels in Congress right now. So somebody within the body needs to step up for both parties and, and, and become sort of a, a favored caucus, if you will. So I would certainly look to who the representatives would be on some sort of mediation. Right now it can't be Kevin McCarthy, Matt Gates. You know, it can't be the squad. It would need to be people that actually can, you know, get a majority of the, of the Congress. People who are lame duck? Or they are, are going to be personally lame duck. I mean, you know, we've seen uh, John Cornyn try to reach across the aisle, and, and he got crickets and slapped. You know, so Chris, jump in here. Well, the, <laughs> the this thing about the impeachment was Kevin McCarthy gave up his soul to get the uh, to get the speakership, and allowed uh, the, uh, any member to call for him to be voted out of speakership. And Matt Gates said, if you don't if you don't do this, uh, I'm going to call for the vote. And, um, and he had to do it, and this is where we are. Uh, with respect to Hunter Biden's indictment, they indicted him on a uh, charge that the Fifth Circuit just ruled unconstitutional. Uh, and so That's we'll see what happens uh, with this. I don't know where it's going to go. The, the, the law's already been held unconstitutional. 
Bill King, back to the issue of a third party. Is one <coughs> viable? Look, there is a huge vacuum in the middle of the political spectrum right now. We're down to about 22 or 23 percent of Americans identify as Republicans and about 25, 26 identify as Democrats. <coughs> so half the country refuses to identify with either one of these political parties. There's this huge sucking sound in the middle. Nature abhors a vacuum. Something's going to happen, but the two parties have rigged the ballot access system so it becomes very difficult and very expensive to do it. So at some point in time, moderates are going to have to get together and say we've had enough of this. All right. Okay, we're going to talk about more of this stuff in overtime.